Let me tell you something here. When you talk about predestination, think about a man with two sons, all right? He has two sons that he loves unconditionally, both of them. And then the man is a lawyer and he wants his sons to be lawyers also. So he arranges everything possible for these two sons of his to be lawyers. He give them, uh, gives them law books. He takes them to law school. He buys them all the required material. Even the friends are lawyers and all that. And he predestines these children to be lawyers. But along the way, one of the sons decides to be a musician. I don't want to be a lawyer, dad. It's my choice. I have a free will. You can't force me to be a lawyer. One decides to be a lawyer. The other one decides to be a musician. So now what happened? They were both chosen i mean they were both called but who was chosen actually to be a lawyer one of the sons so god has called all of us for salvation hey guys as long as you're a human the chances here i've made everything possible for you to be saved i've already laid down my life for you remember what i've just told you that jesus is a lamb of god who was slain before the foundation of the earth so he was already he had already agreed to die for mankind. So the predestination was already made that people would become children of God through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, if only they believe. But then along the way, people decide to make their own choices. You see? So many people have been called, but few are chosen. Those who agree, those who agree to adhere to the call of God. God has been calling you, telling you, hey, brother, Hey friend, I want you to be saved. I've already arranged everything for you. The blood has already been poured for you at the cross so that you can be saved. Everything is done. All that you need is just believe. And then it is for you to answer that call. That's why how many have answered the call? You see people keep on saying, oh, but God, but God. Did, but did you answer the call? You have already been predestined for salvation. You see, trees cannot be saved. Angels cannot be saved. Animals cannot be saved. They have not been predestined for salvation. No matter how much Satan cries and wails and, and asks God this, and he cannot be saved, right? So he is not being predestined to be saved. Robots cannot be saved. It is only pure humans who can be saved. So the predestination is there for humans, for us to be saved. It is for us to adhere to the call of God and be able to be saved. And that is what predestination is. And that's why the Bible says that uh, all that has been determined for us. God has already arranged everything for us. It is for us to be able to adhere and to agree to this call. And then we shall be chosen.